Yeah, we got a lot of production from a lot of different people in that game and obviously Greg uh, had an outstanding weekend with five goals but you know you saw Daniel Evans chip in with two, Brandon Denham, Matt Cope and we got a lot of production. Uh, David Friedman had a, a whole bunch of assists, Chase Golightly, uh, Tyson Wilson, you go down the list, our power play on Saturday was outstanding going four for four and uh, really it was a all-around win. I thought actually in the first period I thought Niagara kind of outplayed us a little bit territorially but uh, we would come down and score. Um, then they'd outplay us a little bit more, we'd come down and score again, then our power play kicked in and um, allowed us to get in the game. They came out uh, flying to, to try to uh, show that a 3-3 tie wasn't a, um, I wouldn't say a fluke, but that that was their team. And obviously uh, we battled uh, right with them and, and ended up uh, getting the early lead. And I was really proud of our guys because when you're got 30 minutes left in the game and you're up six nothing it's really uh, easy to start cheating to the offensive side start playing a different way and we for the most part stayed uh, pretty true to how we wanted to play and, and ended up uh, in the second half of the game tying 2-2 which we didn't allow them to get back in the hockey game. One of the things that Gibson actually said after the game was that he thought maybe you guys did have a little bit of a slow start in the first how do you kind of maybe address that because I think that was something that was maybe the feeling after the tie with Air Force as well. Well, I think it's a lot of playing, uh, getting used to playing back-to-back -back games again. And um, we didn't have a, a chance to get in with uh, non-conference and, and, and work our way up to playing conference games. So um, I think it'll come over time. And I think we'll uh, be able to address that just with uh, more games. And it, I don't think it, at times there's ways that you can help that other than just playing. And um, I thought our guys got into the game a little bit quick, uh, quicker than they did against Air Force and made sure that we were ready to go. And especially the second period, four nothing game, you let them get a couple goals and they feel like they're back in the game and we didn't allow that to happen. And uh, kudos to our guys for making sure they continue to play the game the right way. Uh, one of the reasons that didn't happen is also Terry Schaefer. I thought he had a pretty tremendous night in a game where he might go unnoticed with eight goals being scored. I, I thought he was very solid. Yeah, Terry played well. He, he was, didn't have his best outing against Air Force in the 3-3 tie. And, uh, but Terry was very good. I felt bad for him because I think the one goal that they scored uh, to make it uh, their first goal, make it 6-1, I thought it was a high stick and it was uh, out of the realm of video replay because of the just the goal cameras and you couldn't see it, but it, I'm watching a, on video camera, it looks like it was high and uh, changed directions. It looked like it was going over the net and Terry had a tough time recovering, but I thought he was solid. He made uh, a lot of big saves early, which allowed us to come down and score. And uh, like you said, sometimes in an 8-2 game, it goes unnoticed, but Terry was very good. Dalton was very good uh, against Air Force, and uh, Terry was very good against Niagara. I think Dalton uh, thought that he could have been a, a tad better. I thought he was fine. And uh, I thought Terry uh, no, knew that after his game against Air Force that that wasn't the way that he needed to play. When you go on a road trip like this weekend with non-conference at Michigan, they're a 10th ranked team. They haven't lost either. They did have a tie this weekend with Union. What are the things you kind of look at with finally some non-conference play, heading on the road, it's going to be kind of a crazy atmosphere. Is, is there anything you do with the team to kind of prepare for that? Or what do you talk about maybe differently this week? Well, we, we just need to do things the, the right way. And we need to play the game the right way the whole time and make sure that we're doing things all the time to be successful. We can't take some shifts off. We can't uh, uh, make not get a puck in deep. We have to make sure that we do things um, 100 percent of the time the right way and if we don't it'll come back to bite you because they are strong offensively they do uh, challenge uh, uh, defensemen on uh, rushes and they do make plays so we have to make sure that if they're going to try to make plays they got to come 200 feet and we just have to play within our game we got to do things that make us successful we're not going to change the style of how we play we're not going to change any of that we're just going to make sure that we do things the right way and uh, not get lax at times and they go, well, we could just turn one over here or we can not pick up a man here because if, if that happens, then we're going to be in trouble. Well, best of luck this weekend. Uh, we'll have you covered on the road to Michigan on all of our accounts, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. Coach, thanks for joining me this week. Thank you.